Hello and welcome to the Man Games. So JD McDonough is causing a stir on Monday Night Raw, especially for the Judgment Day. So last week on the channel I showed you how to create this custom JD McDonough attire. Well today on the channel we're looking at this one here, his new attire from this week's Raw. If you are a new watcher to the Man Games and you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. Make sure to click that thumbs up button and drop us a comment and let us know is JD McDonough a good thing for the Judgment Day or a bad thing? So we're gonna go into his in-ring attire first. So we're gonna go down to clothing, to upper body, down to lower arm left, edit. So it's this one here, so it's two across from the radar superstar one. And material you want to go to is matte, just to make it a little bit darker. And then you can leave the colour on as the same black that is already on in the game. Then if you go down to lower arm right, you can just copy that straight over, then above exactly the same. And now if we go down to low body, so to trunks. So those are the JD McDonough trunks that are already on the game. So we want black for colour number one. White, colour number two. And black, for colour number three. And because you can't change the lines on the trunks, we're going to put these images over it to make the lines show white. So we've got this first line here. As you can see, it's there. So it's just going over where it should be shown. And then the colour for this wants to be white. And then we're doing exactly the same, but on the other side. See, like so, so we're just matching those two up, like that. And the colour, once again, wants to be white. So then if we go down to the knee pads, so those are the same knee pads that are already on him in the game. So we just want to change colours number one to be in black and number two wants to be white like so and then same again just copy it over to the right knee pad so then they're both exactly the same and then going down to boots and shoes so these are the boots that I put on him these ones here and the colour of these want to be black 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 and black. Now I do think maybe his boots that he did on Raw were a little bit shorter but design wise I thought these these ones matched up the best. So that is it for his in-ring attire. We're going to look at his entrance attire with the shirt next. So it looks pretty easy just getting a shirt on WWE 2K23 that's black. Well the unfortunate thing is the shirt that is already on the game has a load of lines over it should we say so we're gonna have to put a load of images on top of it so it, you know I mean I would still choose the colors both to be black like so but then we're gonna put all these images over the t-shirt to make it surly black so there is no lines or old images on there so first image is this square image and it's covering up this part here. So, we want the colour to be black. But then you need to go to materials and make sure the material is cloth. And then our second image here. So this one's covering up this part here. And that wants to be black as well. And of course, the material wants to be cloth as well. Third square image now. And this is covering up this part here. And once again, that wants to be black. With the material being cloth. 
Next square image now. And this is covering up this part here. And once again, the colour wants to be black. And the material wants to be cloth. And now we've got this rectangular image here. Which is covering up that part there. And also, that is going to be black. With the material obviously being cloth. Next rectangular image now, which is coming up this part here, and once again it is black, and the material is cloth. Next rectangular image now is coming up this part here, and that is black. And the material obviously is cloth. Next one now is covering up this part here with the colour being black and the material being cloth. And then finally this rectangular image here is covering up that part there. with the colour being black and the material being cloth and then there you have it now you know how to create this JD McDonough on your WWE 2K23 well I do hope you have enjoyed this video today and you have found it helpful if you did so, please think about subscribing to The Man Games if you haven't already. If you already have, make sure you've got those notifications turned on. Then you'll know when our next video goes up on the channel. You can also help support The Man Games by clicking that thumbs up button. That is a great way to help support The Man Games. Also, make sure to drop us a comment below. Let us know what you think of JD McDonough in, potentially, The Judgment Day. You can also find us on social media at The Man Games on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are also on TikTok and Threads as well. And also down below there is a link to subscribe to our newsletter. By doing so, you will get a weekly email letting you know what goes on the channel. So thank you very much for watching and supporting The Man Games today. And we will see you on the next video.